Hello, everyone. My name is Chuck Hayes, and I'm the Director of Application Services here at Zobrio. I wanted to walk you through briefly the implications of an email you received from Blackboard about Microsoft Office integration with database view and a change that's coming the end of February of next year. For our FE NXT customers, I wanna point out that you probably won't even notice a difference and it's a very minimal impact. And for a few circumstances where you may have been using this feature, there's a very easy alternative. So let me just kind of walk through what we're discussing and what's at issue. So first of all, I am using a version of a sample database that we use here at Zobrio. And in the background is web view and in the foreground is database view. And right now I'm showing a journal entry batch. This is a really good example where this option comes into play. So again, we're referring to database view, which is in the foreground now. I'm looking at a batch and basically it's where you see a grid. This is a really good example. So if you see a grid in database view somewhere in FENXT, you may have been using an option when you right click that says export transaction grid to Excel. This is the option that will no longer work after February of next year. What does this mean? Well, this option will open a version of Excel that's on the server that's hosted by Blackboard instead of on your workstation. And those applications are gonna go away. So let's watch what happens. I'm gonna click export transaction grid to Excel. Excel has opened up but it's not the Excel that's installed on my workstation. It's a version of Excel on the server. That option will simply go away after February of uh, 2022. So instead of using the right-click option, export transaction grid to Excel or budget grid or whatever grid you're looking at, just use the option export grid because what that option allows is for you to select a file format and save the file somewhere on your workstation or whatever you can access from your workstation, say the network. That option is not going away. So again, rather than open the Office application on the server, just switch to saving the file itself. That option will continue. Another example that looks a little different, but it's still the same functionality, is in Query. So I've opened up a Query. Now I'm bringing a Query to the foreground. And on the results tab of query, there has been a button that says export to Excel. What that button will do is launch Excel on the server and open a file that's temporarily created that is showing this results tab. Instead, in the query, just use this little CD icon at the top. And just like I showed you with journal entry, go ahead and choose the file format you want and directly export the file and save it somewhere else on your workstation or on the network, and then launch Excel on your workstation and open up the file. Those options will continue to exist. One last comment, query is not available in WebView, but the other feature that I showed you, journal entry batch, that is available in WebView. So just to point out, if I'm looking at the batch contents, the grid in WebView, there is an export button. This will continue to work, it works really well. What that option will do, it's very similar to export with a file, but when you click export, an Excel file will be created. It'll be automatically downloaded to wherever your browser downloads files, and then you can go ahead and launch the file, just like I was showing you in database view. It's actually a cleaner version of an export. So I highly recommend using the export feature in web view as much as possible. But if you're still using something in database view, just remember all you need to do is export to a file instead of automatically launching the Office application. That's pretty much what's at issue for FB NXT customers. One other option that I'll mention that is not impacted that some of you, maybe a few of our customers are using has to do with labels. So if I go to say accounts payable and go to mail, and again, I'm in database view, and there's an option to print labels. If you've been using this feature and you're using one of the, the, the formats that's built into the file, like Avery 5161, that's not gonna change. That's not using Microsoft Office. So you'll still be able to run those, you know, whether it's fixed assets or accounts payable vendors, that type of thing. So thanks so much for your time today. And we really appreciate working with you and having you as customers. 
And I hope this video helps you to realize that actually it's not a huge deal for you and you can easily choose other options to export those files that you need from database view.